Ha. Sticky, beefy, burnt ends. This is delicious. Hey guys and welcome back. On this video, I am excited to do my first cook on the Slow and Sear Kamado. What we have here is the, the deluxe uh, Slow and Sear uh, from uh, Adrenaline Barbecue or the rebranding into Slow and Sear Barbecue. The beauty of this Kamado grill, and I have other Kamado grills that I've cooked on, is this is your normal Kamado grill that you can do a normal cook with but you can also incorporate the slow and sear uh, griddle and, and, and charcoal pan, which now you can do really high heat off to the side, still add charcoal to it, but also have multiple layers of cooking. And you can have the bottom layer where the griddle, uh, the, the drip pan is, you can have this top layer, and you can also add on another layer to have an additional uh, height to this. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna do our maiden voyage with a brisket point for some burnt end sandwiches. So that's what I chose to do. So let's get this thing lit up. We're gonna be using a tumbleweed uh, starter. Just get this off to the side here. Get it buried in there. Get this thing lit. Cover it up. We're gonna go ahead and give this about 20 minutes to get going. I'll see you in a little bit. So while our slow and sear Kamado Joe is heated up, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about putting this thing together. I could have done an unboxing video, but there are plenty of them out there. Uh, it was really simple to put together. The slow and sear came with everything you need, the tools, everything you need to put together. Took me, you know, maybe 20, 25 minutes to put the frame together. I had a, an additional person help me lift the, the Kamado into the stand, very simple to do. And also it took me about another 10, 15 minutes to put the side tables on, the handle, everything else. Really simple to do, instructions were very clear, no problems. All right, so here's our uh, brisket point. Again, I, bought a, I did buy a whole brisket. I'm using the flat for another recipe, but this is the, the point that I have saved. And what I'm gonna do is hit it just like a normal brisket with a little Worcestershire sauce. Get that covered. And then we're gonna be using the slow and sear, uh, not just for beef rub. And the beauty of these rubs is there's no salt in, added to them. So gonna go straight, straight rub here. Get a nice coating. We got the slow and sear sitting at 275. Looks like it's, uh, it's holding steady. I got the top vent set to uh, just past number one. The bottom vent is maybe about a half inch open, if that, and it's been holding steady 275. So burp it like we do all Kamados. A lot of air starts rushing in there, heats that fire up and starts flaming. You can have a nice little pop. I'm gonna add a little uh, hickory. Get one off to the side there. Add our brisket point right off to the side. I'm gonna get our little happy chunk right over there. That's it. I'm gonna let this thing cruise. I'm gonna wait about four or five hours and then I'm gonna start checking the temp of the point. We're gonna get it to about 200 or until it's nice and tender and then we're gonna, we'll take it from there. So stick around. So guys, we're at the six hour mark and our little point has got some good tenderness to it. We're about 190, what is that at? 195 right now. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it and we're gonna cube it up. We're gonna put some barbecue sauce on it and get it back on for a little bit to caramelize that. And I think we'll be ready to eat. Like I said, six hours, we're getting close. You can see I got, um, parchment paper in that little one I threw some uh, tin foil around it
right, so I'm just gonna hit it with some store-bought barbecue sauce. You can use your own custom barbecue sauce. I didn't have any ready. So we're gonna get a nice coating on this. Give that a toss, make sure they're all nice and coated. All right, let's give these a couple more hours and I think we'll be ready to go. So there we go, our first cook on the Slow and Sear Kamado Grill. Did an excellent job, held good temp. I can't wait to do a longer cook, but we got our nice tender beefy morsels here. Can't wait to make some sandwiches. Remember guys, hit that thumbs up. I'll see you on the next run. Thanks for watching.